And the new summer blockbuster Twisters is in theaters today. The standalone sequel stars Glenn Powell and Daisy Edgar Jones as they fight for their lives while multiple storms converge over central Oklahoma. The trailer even shows two major Twisters combining into one. Okay, so let's turn things over to our own storm chaser, Greg D. <laughs> and a lot of movie magic here. Remember, this is just a drama. Yes. And I used to live in central Oklahoma. Never saw two combined into one. But mm -hmm. really, we want to know, is that even possible? Yeah, so oftentimes these large multi-vortex tornadoes, as we call them, can combine into a single storm. And what about that damage that you see in the movie? The cars, the trucks flying around, is that possible? Let's get into it. Let's talk about that rating scale. You hear us use it here all the time, but what does each level of the tornado mean? So you know there's five levels, EF0 through EF5. By the way, the EF, the enhanced part of the enhanced Fujita scale, uh, it is called that because we actually take into effect how well is a structure actually made before it gets hit by a tornado. To use a good comparison, a home in Florida hit by an EF2 will not see the same type of damage that an EF2 will cause in central Illinois. And that is because our homes, in many cases, are built to withstand 150 mile per hour winds. You'll see very little structural damage here. Whereas farther north, that house may be severely damaged. So EF0, we see most of this in the Bay Area. 95% of our tornadoes are EF0. Damage to gutters and siding, shingles peeled off, large workbenches uh, torn apart, power outages certainly possible. Then you move on to EF1, also possible in the Bay Area. You start to get some broken windows, except here because we've got hurricane windows in many of our homes. Roof damage significant outside of Central Florida. Small trees can be uprooted, poles can be toppled. Now you start moving into EF2, rare in our area, but they do happen once in a while. And and then we do start to see damage with these cars can be flipped over by an EF2 tornado, larger trees uprooted. Usually in most places, the roof is gone with an EF2 tornado. Most poles, power poles are knocked over. Then you start getting into the big tornadoes, the ones you'll likely see in this movie, the EF3. Now you're above the limits for construction here in Central Florida. All poles are down, vehicles are displaced. They're not just flipped, they can literally fly through the air. Bark is stripped off of trees, and in most cases, entire floors with most walls down in well-built homes. EF4s, very rare here in the central Florida area, but we've seen them before. Much of the landscape is stripped. Most homes are leveled, including if that were to happen here in central Florida. Cars are thrown into the air and usually not found anywhere near where they are parked. And then there's the rare EF5. Now, before I show you this, there are 1,800 tornadoes in the United States a year. One in 4,000 is an EF5 tornado. So typically we see one every other year in the entire United States. And basically we call this an earth clearing event. Typically nothing is left. Asphalt is ripped off the ground. The next six inches of soil can go with it. And in some cases, there is no sign that a building has ever stood in that location before. This is the worst of it and this is why Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Kansas, you see people building shelters underground because underground is the only place that is survivable during an EF5 tornado. So that dramatic damage that you will see in that movie, it is absolutely possible.